Welcome back. As a business owner, imagine the level of trust you need to build in order for your customers to hand you the keys to their house along with permission to go in every room. That's the type of trust we expect every BBB accredited business to establish with customers, and it's the type of trust a house cleaning company must establish with its customers. Stephanie Camarillo is co-owner of Molly Made out of Meridian, and she joins us today. Stephanie, so good to see you with us. Great to see you, Dale. So we're talking about this idea of how you establish these extreme levels of trust with your customers, and, and really I think we're just looking for you to give it to us step by step. What's the first thing you do? Well, you know, we like to say we're in the business of trust and we just happen to do house cleaning. Mm. But seriously, our customers, because our, my employees are in people's homes throughout the valley, I can't possibly see what they're doing in every single moment. Trust needs to permeate our entire culture and our business. So we have about three things that we look to establish trust with any new client. And that really begins with articulating clear policies and procedures to our clients that build trust. We, for instance, do background checks on all of our employees. We make sure they don't have any sort of a criminal record. But, you know, and that helps our, our, our customers be insured that whoever's in their home, they can, start, they can start with trust there. Secondly, we're bonded and we're insured. So if anything awful were to happen, there's that second layer of trust to let our clients know that they and we are protected. And those are really important, and those can you know, really set a company as, um, apart from somebody else when it comes to trust. And you talk about that hiring process yeah. and being sure it's part of the culture. So mm -hmm. you're looking for some very clear indicators for, for employees you can trust. Really, employees are everything. And being able for us to be able to trust our employees are everything. So mm -hmm. we mostly hire on referral. We're looking for employees who know people that we know, um, recommendations from other, other employees about people who they know and trust as a starting place. Now you mentioned the policies, procedures, but let's talk about the, the customer signs the contract with you and, and invites you into their home. How do you maintain those levels of trust, maintain the momentum, so to speak? Sure. Well, let's start just by talking about the keys themselves. Mm -hmm. We have really clear procedures for how we handle a customer's keys when we give those out to our employees, when we expect them back, and how we handle them. Um, but then it goes with just maintaining a clean and a professional image in everything that we do. All of our employees are uniformed. Everybody wears a name tag. We work very hard to keep the same team in a, in a client's house so that there's that consistency and that repetition. They see those same names, they know those people, and then that builds trust as well. And you also just briefly mentioned that you're bonded and insured just in case something goes wrong. We're all human beings. Mistakes right. do happen even though it's not intended. Mm -hmm. But what types of procedures and policies do you have in place to address that beyond the insurance? Sure. You know, just like you said, everybody's human. We all make mistakes. And we really believe that it's those times when maybe there's a mistake that's made that's an opportunity to build even more trust with our clients. So we take it seriously. When something happens, first of all, we deal with it immediately. And then secondly, we make it right. What whatever that means. And then our customers can trust that. And it's really all about communication. It's about understanding what happened. And then it's about taking those steps to make sure that the problem is taken care of. And I just really want to address, too, with our employees, we emphasize with them, you know, we understand that maybe a mistake will happen with you. Um, but the important thing is to be honest with us, to let us know so our customers feel that honesty and they can trust us. The transparency aspect yeah, is absolutely. crucial in that yeah. fact. And, and then it, it, all of this said, it's really helping your business grow. I mean, you can see a direct result from the efforts to build trust. Let's talk about what kind of growth you've seen. Absolutely. We are so excited, not only for our business, but hopefully for the economy at large, that really our business is up 20% this year over where we were last year. But that's, that's cumulative. You know, that is because we've been in business for a number of years. We're accredited with the Better Business Bureau. Customer referrals are our number one source of new business. All of those things build over time, and they mean more business for us in the yeah. long run. You're creating momentum. That's Absolutely. what it's all about out of that. So, and it's a, it's constant work. It's a yeah. constant job for a business owner, but the payoff is definitely there. You can see it. Absolutely. And I just say, don't give up. Associate yourself with the right people, with the right employees, and with the right organizations that build that trust in the long run. All right. Stephanie Camarillo, thank you so much for your time today. Thank Congratulations you, on the success. Great. Thank and you. Keep building